Everybody shaka, let's go. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hola. All right, very good. Hey, guys, it's going to be a great day today. We're going to be working, of course, continue our striking and working on combinations. I'm setting this down right here, and that way you can see what's up. And so uh, I know that this class is going to go out tomorrow. Today's Wednesday, so you'll get it on Thursday, and then you're going to get Friday's class on Saturday to be able to see, and we're going to wrap everything up, okay? So we're having a great time. I know you're having a great time. Hopefully we'll see you back on the mat soon. You guys ready to get going? Is everybody ready to get going? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is everybody ready to get going? Yes, sir. Thank you, Hayden. Because I know you're talking to me. Totally unacceptable while I'm talking. Gotta get you guys snapped back in line. See what happens? They've been off the mat too long. So get back in class. Ready, here we go. Kill the seat. Me is the knee. Ready. And she was taking a knee. Ready. Let's go. And she's doing great. No, it's a complete victory. Always. Complete living and integrity. Always. Devoted to excellence and steadfast love. Always. Victory and defeat. Always. Victory and success. Always. Complete victory in life. Always. Good. Thank you, Hayden. I felt that one, man. Nice. Good. All right. Everybody doing well to say? Yes, sir. All right. Very good. Here we go. Jump to the other side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, how many do? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, 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 forty. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Everybody down on your backs. Let's go quickly. And right elbow, left knee, left elbow, right knee. Ready and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Good. Over to push up position. Let's go quickly. Here we go. Ready and one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and those arms, nine, ten, one, hips down, Riley, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Very good. Ready up, please. Ready up. So quick, quick, quick. Good. All right. From this position. You notice if you have some of these boxes here, have the uh, boxes in for another one for a little dragon. Talking about our quadrant footwork, box one, two, three, and four. You're actually going to be standing inside that box one, two, or three, and four, just like this. You're going to actually put the left foot inside box number one, the right foot in box number three. And when you're inside here, hand center line, bend the knees, and then you're blading your body. So now you're in your fighting stance here, okay? And remember, you always have the hand up by the phone, just like this here. We're going to go up. Everybody say up. up. In. in. Out. Out. Touch. Touch. Down. down. Circle back. Push down. Back. Say it with me. Inside. And up. Say it loud. Up, up, in. Up, in. Out. Out. Touch. Touch. Down. Down. Circle back. Circle back. Push down. Push back. Up. Inside. Touch. Good. Now step back one. Step back two. And now you should be right back in those boxes again. All right? Box one and three. All right. So now we're going to get rid of some of the words that we would use for like the little dragon stuff to help them remember that. Like on Gidon Badai, we got to touch. We shouldn't have to be telling you that. You should know that already. So here we go. Ready? And up. In. in, out, down, push down, and inside. Point those toes. Ready and up, in, out, down, push down, inside. Go ahead. Step back one. Step back two. All right, star block set. All right. We talk about you holding those grapes in there all the time. What I mean by that is like these, of course, are a little bit bigger than the grape. But same principle. If I'm here like this here, and I'm holding these in, and all I have to do is open my elbow up a little bit. They fall out. You see how that works? So I don't want that. 
And I know the grapes are even smaller, so if your elbows go out, they're gonna fall out. But on that first block, if I'm here and I do this up, did it fall out? No, because I'm not lifting my arm all the way up. I'm just turning, pulling myself in. And in, out, down, push down, inside. Did they fall? Why? Because I'm keeping my hands where? Where they're supposed to be. It's very important that you can stay here when you fight. The only time to go out is if I have to reach and grab or if I strike. And then, if I was fast enough, how cool I could. All right, I'm not fast enough. Be able to strike and get it back. You guys understand? But you need to try to act like it's going to fall, so you got to get your hands back all the time. That's what we're trying to bring home to you that point of how it works. You guys understand? Everybody understand that? Cool. Here we go. Ready? From the tension position, get in the back of your box. The back of your box. First bow. Good. Open up center line. Now we're going to go one, pivot, and two. Make sure you're pivoting. Three, keep those elbows in. Four, pivoting. Five, circle it back. Six, circle it back and step back. Seven, now you're in box number one and three. Now reverse punch. Good, and now back fist, pivot, and reach in. Notice at the belt, one, two, 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 two. Now we're gonna come, this foot is gonna pivot all the way around, so now the round kick comes out. Chamber, extension, re-chamber. We place the foot down now, we're in box one and number what? Two and three, all right? So now I'm gonna step behind. My foot's gonna go right up in that box number two and side kick and still put it down in box two and three. I'm gonna turn this foot around, look over my shoulder, spin, back kick, come around. Now my feet are in box number two and four. And I grab, seize, strike. And now see, I'm in my fighting stance again, just like this. Come up, first about, step back one, step back two, step back three, step back four, and you should be back right on your mark. Everybody see that? Everybody got it? Good. All right, here we go. Now, finish it up and warm up. We're going to start right here in box number one and three. And act like if you got a box, be there. But if you do have your boxes, be there. You get your boxes one and three. Two, three, 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 three. All right, so look now. We're going to take our feet and we're going to turn them until they're on the line. See that? Now we're going to take the feet and put them in box number two and four. All right, and hands are up. So we're now we're going to go here and then back here. See what's happening? So we're going to go. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, let's go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Good job. All right. Feel that in your legs, yeah? No. Yes. No. No. Oh man, Cam. He thinks we should go some more. Yes. No, but were you wrestling yesterday? Uh, oh, was, that's why. Yeah. I, was, I, was, yeah, I, I know you. You feel that, right? It's like, oh. Let's go. All right, guys. Here we go. Ready? Inside the boxes, so look here. We're gonna go into our fighting stance right here. So we're gonna be right here. And now I'm gonna throw a jab. Remember, we talked about this, where I have my knees bent, and I want my knee to go over my toes. And when my knee goes over my toes here like this, what happens to my hip right away? It turns, all right? So I'm getting a little bit of a pivot when I throw this jab. And I'm getting some penetration. Closing the gap. So let's do that. One, and back. Two, and three, and four. Stay where you're at. Five, six, seven. Hands up. Eight, eight. Box number one, three, nine, and ten. Mr. Burrell, are you in box number one and three? Switch feet. That's two and four. There you go. Good. Now we're going to take and we're going to turn the other way. Notice when I turn and push this knee out over this one, and my heel goes from this side, boy, look at this heel. I'm going to turn the heel this way. What did I do on my front foot? I pivot a little bit and I drive the knee forward. It makes my hips turn and shoulder turn. So I go here, one and back, two and back, three and back, 
Three, make that fist tight. Four, right at the very end, it tightens up nice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, now we're gonna throw both together. One, and now on the way back to recover, we come out in two. This hand comes back home right away. Then we bring this hand back home. Now we're right back where we started again. Ready? One and two. And back. Keep those knees bent. Ready? One and two. Knees bent. Ready? One, two. And back. Go then again. One, two. And back. One, two. And back. One, two. And back. One, two. Ready? One, two. Also now, look in the mirror, point your finger right on your nose. Now, act like you're gonna throw the jab, but leave your finger where it's at. What happens to your head? It goes out of where it was. See, it was right here. And now my head is out when I throw that jab. Now I'm gonna act like I'm gonna throw the cross. Where does my head go? Out of that line, right? We call that line the center line, right? That's what we talk about when we open up into this position right here, we call it the center line position because I'm in box number one and two. And this line right here represents what? The center line, right? Line of attack. So my hands are inside here, center line, because I'm guarding and protecting what? The center line portion of the body, which is one of the most vulnerable points of your body. Inside the center line is your head, your face, right? Your eyes, nose all the knockout points, all that kind of good stuff. The throat, the pit of the throat, sternum, solar plex, pelvis, groin. Those areas right here are very, very vulnerable. You guys understand? So that's why when I step back in my fighting stance and I blade, what have I done? I've turned the center line portion of the body and I've moved it away. Does that make sense, guys? Yes, sir. All right, and so when I move my head, move out of the line of attack just with my body here, I am getting my head out of the center line. Does that make sense, guys? Everybody understand? Yes, so if I'm here in box number one and three, if I was really trying to move, stand up close, I would actually move in box number one, see that? Or I would move in box number two, or I would move in box number three, or box number four. There's reasons I would do that. Does that make sense? But that's moving with what? My feet, right? When I'm standing here and getting my head out of the center line, what am I moving with? Legs. My legs, not my feet. You guys understand that? Because if I move with my body like this here, am I in balance right now? No, no. okay. All right. And if I'm like this, it's easy for somebody to kick my legs or take me down. I don't want that. You guys understand? So I need to make sure that I move with my legs to get my body out. You guys understand? So here we go again. Ready? Hands up. Think about that when you throw on the one, two. Ready, one, two, and back. Again, one, two, and again. One, two, good, all right? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna step. And if I'm here, am I in box number one and three right now? No. Yes, I am. I just have another set of boxes with me. Because look here, Tyler, I always have the boxes with me. What boxes am I in right now? Two and four. Two and four, what about now? One and three. One and three, and I didn't take any steps, I just turned my body. Does that make sense, guys? So I've always had the boxes with me. You guys understand how that works? Yes. Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Everybody yes, understand? Sir. All right, cool, all right? So when I'm inside this position here, I'm gonna start right here, and when I throw the jab this time, I'm going to step and throw the jab. Look what happened. Now I just move forward. Everybody see that? So let's step back one. Let's step jab. Put it back again. Ready? Step jab. Now as we step back jab, step forward jab, step back jab, step forward jab, step back. So as you're retreating, get your head out of center line each time. Forward and back, good. Now let's step forward and one, two. And then we're back again. Step back one, two. And back again. Step forward one, two. And back one, two. Forward one, two. Back one, two. See what's happening? We've got movement with that. Does that make sense, guys? Right, step, jab, that kind of stuff. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the one, and when 
when I throw the two, I'm going to switch my feet. Watch now. See what I did? Yes. And before we actually do that, let's actually step it. So we're going to go one, two, and then one, two. Everybody see how that worked? Let's go again. One, two, one, two. Which now is backwards. Everybody see how that works? Ready? So one, two, one, two. Now let's go back and go one and just switch. Two, one, two. Switch it back and again. Ready? One, two, one, two. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, and now step on the one. One, two. Go back and let's try it again. One, two, step, two. Back again. Ready? One, two, step, two. Back again. Come on, Mason. One, two, step, two. Back again. So let's just start with the one, two. One, two. Now we're going to go one and step on the two. One, two. Go back. Now we're going to go one, two, step, two. See how that works? It's all moving. You guys see how that works? Different ways that it moves. Now we're going to do what we actually are going to actually practice. The reason we wanted to go through that was there's a ton of different ways that you can decide movement and create movement while you're striking. Instead of me coming up to you, Cam, going like this and going, what did I just do? You switched my eye. You saw that, right? Now what did I do? But it's a little bit harder to see because what? Hands are happening. Does that make sense? So it's the size and movement. That's all we're doing. You guys understand? So now watch what we're going to do. We're going to go in and we're going to come out and go one, two, switch, two. Just like that. Everybody got it? Let's go again. Ready? One, two, switch, two. And again. One, two, switch, two. And back again. One, two, switch, two. And again, ready? One, two, switch, two. Back. Not moving anywhere. One, two, switch, two. And go. On your own. Back set. Go. One, two, switch, two. Everybody look at home. They keep practicing at home too. You guys, keep on guys. So if you're home, this is like a little tricky. Watch me and Aiden are going to do it with you. So here, put your left leg forward, Aiden. We're going to go left, right, and now switch your feet and go to the left. Left, right. Okay, but don't take a step. Go back and do it again. See how we're not taking the steps. Left, up, switch your feet. So left, right, and now as you throw the left, switch your feet. Left, right. See that? And again, so we're going to go left, right, switch, left, right. One, two, switch, two. Right? Yeah? All right? Keep practicing. Don't 
to. Listen up. That's the building block for where we're going towards the end of the week, okay? But if you don't practice that, if you don't practice that, it's going to be hard for you to build on. Does that make sense, guys? Everybody understand? Yes, sir. If I'm going to build something, I've got to work at laying the foundation. And if I don't lay the foundation properly, I'm not going to build anything. Does that make sense? So if you don't come back to class tomorrow and Friday with a good foundation, we're not going to build a building on top of that. Does that make sense, guys? This will be a one, two, switch to seven spin hook kick. Everybody see how it works? Possibly. All right, it's a nice little setup. All right, very nice, moving all the way through, and it's a way to get a spin hook kick in. Spin hook kicks are really hard to throw because guess what happens when I throw the spin hook kick? Guess what? Eric is able to see. A lot of movement, right? You can see that coming like five miles away. I've got to shoot him a text and say, Hey, Coach Z, I'm going to be throwing a hook kick, spinning hook kicks coming your way right now. It's like, oh, thanks, Mr. Hayden. Appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and back up and get away. All right? So we need to go ahead and disguise that spinning hook kick into movement. Everybody understand? So when we set it up, that's what we're going to be working on. Okay? All right. So here we go. Fighting stance. Let me see what we've got. Fighting stance. Right there's back. Fighting stance. Hands up. Switch feet. Okay? Hey, turn it off. Throw the hands up. Hey, more. Okay, here we go. Ready? Jab. Lower your level, cross to the body. Back step, hook kick to the head. I mean hook, uh, hook punch to the head, round kick to the head. Ah, oh, let's try it again. You guys are gonna go, Dum! this is what it was. Let's try it again, ready? Jab, change the level, we cross to the body. Back step with the left hand hook to the head. Round kick to the head. Everybody remember this? Yes, what is this? Yes, sir. When did we learn this? Uh, yesterday. We sure? You sure? Yes. All right, let me see if you were here yesterday. Let's see if you can make it happen. Let's go. Come on. And then we'll go back and we'll just we'll see if we can uh, explain it as we go. Just a real quick review. Uh, well, you guys have probably seen it on the Google oh, Map yeah. Action class, right? Because Eric did post he did this on the uh, video. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Good job. Oh. Don't look at me. Try it. Practice. You have to look at me like, help. Do the best you can. Move right down here in just a second. Just seeing who's got it. Make sure that back's up. Glad we're just going to make it. Everybody pay attention to Coach Z, please, all right? Because now I just want to see who was going to see it. I just want to see who did it yesterday, where you were with it, okay? You guys made some good progress. Some of you guys did. Some of you guys are still there working. But he's going to explain to you what's happening with the technique now, and then we're going to show it how it works, okay? So you can understand how it works. He's giving you the knowledge right now. All right, go ahead. All right. So we start off at our fighting stance here. Throw our jab against everybody, our opponent, and our thinking about their head, but we don't punch in the face. So, like, ah! that level change down to the body, that 
that makes them think about their body now, so they're ducking down, which then allows me to back step around the guard and throw my hook because they're like this, which leaves this whole area back here open. So do my hooks, and when I throw my hook, they're gonna change down, go with my hook, which allows them to go right into my object. So do it with me real quick. So you need Let's go, guys. Give me five exams. Face the front. Here, we're gonna go ready. Try to turn the other way. Turn the other way. Left leg in front. Face the cage. Look over to there. Are we ready? All right, here we go. We'll throw our jab. Level change. Cross the body. Back step. Start body stance. Throw our hook. And then a crack. There we go again. Then your body stance. Jab. Level change. Cross. Back step, knee hook, brown kick. One more time. Jab, cross, back step, hook, brown kick. All right, y'all keep working on that. All right, guys, so you can see that this is jab, level change, cross to the body. All right, so what we did yesterday, you're doing that back step with a hook to the head, which lets them drop the head down, and it's a round kick, okay? So go ahead and practice that, rotate it through. We're going to show you how it's applied, and then we're going to work the bags a little bit more too, okay? Keep working. All right, good. Everybody pay attention over here, please. So everybody watch here. If I'm here in my fighting stance, I'm going to do exactly what I'm supposed to do, right? If he throws a jab, I slip. Is that correct? Okay. But even though I'm not getting my way up, I'm still getting a little bit of what? Protection base. An opening here. You guys see that? A little tiny bit. Even if I do everything right, if protein changes his level, it's even better because now he's underneath my guard. I hope. You guys see how that works? Yes. If somebody hits me here, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go like this, yeah. right? Um, so when I do this here, guess what my head's doing? It's, it's open for what? Look. To get the hook. And if this happens, where do you think I'm going, Tyler? Down. Do you think I'm going to stand here and go? No. I'm going to go. Probably like this here, which opens for the round. You guys see how that works? So one more time, we're here. Jab, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Here, here, and then here. You guys see how that works? Everybody see it? 
So what you're doing is you're reading and you're trying to make notes on somebody to see how they respond to something. Does that make sense? Right, how many of y'all play sports or athletics? Raise your hands high. Okay. All right. What do you play, Dan? Baseball and football, okay? So let me ask you a question. In baseball, when you pitch against somebody, you play like T-ball baseball or real like fast pitch? You play fast pitch baseball like hardball or do you play like T-ball where it's on the team? What's that? They pitch. So they, do they, they pitch the ball. Okay, good. All right. And so when you're watching the game and you're watching the pitcher, what are you looking for? You're looking for things that the pitcher does sometimes science academy does, or whatever, to try to get what? An idea of what he is, what he's throwing. You guys see how that works? All right? He's trying to get an idea. He's taking notes. Okay, if he does, I see a fastball every time, and he happens to do this little thing before he throws the fastball. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of giving you an edge. Does that make sense? Okay. Tyler, what do you play? Uh, same sports. Same sports? Okay. All right, and uh, if you see somebody, Tyler, what position do you play? In the outfield. Like, do you play second, first base, shortstop? Maybe shortstop. Shortstop. That's awesome. Perfect. Okay. Shortstop. So if I'm standing at the batter's box, Tyler, and I do this motion here, look, and I move like this, uh, what am I trying to do? going to pull the ball. I'm going to pull it. That's right. So uh, there's sometimes a battle will give you little signs to let you know where he's going to do what? Swing. Where he's going to try to hit the ball. Because he's looking too. They're looking. They're like, okay, that's not a good shortstop, or that's an excellent shortstop. If Tyler's playing, it's an excellent shortstop. I don't want to hit it to him. I want to hit it over to Zachary. All right, you guys understand? So I'm looking to hit it away from there. But I'm giving you a sign. And you're looking, right, for those little things. Same thing as striking. If I'm here striking and I keep doing this every time that I strike, what are my hands doing? They're in a what? They're in a, They're in a rhythm. They're in a what? Pattern, um, right? And so if you're a really good striker, you tie this. And when you see this is when you're going to what? Throw your, like your hook or your cross. Does that make sense? Because I'm open, I'm dropping my guard, I'm doing the rhythm with that. Does that make sense? If Zarek is over here and he's in his fighting stance and he gives me a shoulder fake for like a jab, and he sees me do that. He sees me because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. He knows that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Does that make sense? And so he might throw that jab and fake it out all the time to get me to do a certain thing. Or he might know that I have a good defense and he throws a jab. He sees me do this every time. He might not hit me with the jab, but I'm giving him something else. What am I giving him? That level change cross. Does that make sense, guys? Everybody understand? So he's doing things to what's called conditioning a what? We talked about it yesterday. Conditioning a what? Who was here yesterday? Conditioning a what? What was it, Ava? Anybody? Yes, sir. A for uh, Adam. A response. Everybody say a response. A response. I'm conditioning a response. That's what's called all the time. I'm trying, Colston, to get you to do something, to set up something for me. Does that make sense? Yes, like you're talking about mom and dad. You look at them and they ask you to do something, Cam, and you look at your dad and your dad said, hey, Cam, did you uh, take the trash out? And you go, what? Would you, would you do that to your dad? Right. He's like, he looked over there, he's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> he's like, no, is my dad here? Did I say that? No, because he knows he shouldn't say that. So what do you do, Cam? If your dad looked at you and you said, what? And he goes, what do you think would happen next? What is he trying to get you to do? If he gives you this to look for That's right. He's trying to condition the response out of Cameron to answer correctly. You guys understand that? Just by that look, he's conditioning a response. Everybody understand so be careful of that. That's a good thing a lot of times. But if you're sparring, don't let your opponent read you. And what I mean by that is don't do things that are like habitual, like the same thing over and over. And it's hard not to. 
So like, for instance, if I go to throw and kick off my back leg, a lot of times you guys, Patriots here on, will do this. You take a step with the front leg and kick with the back leg. If you do that over and over, Colston, what are you telling your friend that you're fixing to do? Kick. That's right, you're telling you're fixing to kick. So that means you're telling them. You guys understand that? So see this motion here, and I want you now to work like this here. He's going to throw the jab, he's going to throw the cross, the hook, and the round kick. Everybody see how that works? Everybody understand? So in your mind, I want you to see how that works and try to make it work within your square here. Let's we'll see if we can get some other stuff in. Let's go. Move it around. Move it around. See it in your head. Try to get it to work. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quickly. Pay attention now. Look here. What's going to happen? So see myself. I'm going to walk around. We're going to be your live dummies. You better have control. We'll keep you back. What? Yeah, all right. What? So here's what's going to happen. So see yeah. myself. All we're allowed to throw is a jab on you sometimes. We're just going to flash our hands out. You're going to try. Everybody look. You're going to try to throw the combination and try to set it up. You can use the jab cross. Or you can just use the hook too by itself. What you're trying to get is for me to do or Coach Z to drop our head like this so you can throw the round thing. Everybody see it? We're just going to capture stuff for you. You guys can chant. Not thinking hard. Is that understood? You're trying to get the combination to work in a lot of different ways. Just read it. Everybody understand? Let's go. Move. On your own. Let's go. Come on.
show God she's working. You show God. Alright guys, sit up now. Tomorrow, make sure you got your gear with you when you come in, alright? You're not going to be sparring. I just need to make sure you have your hand gear with you. Your hand gear is going to act like pads. So the pads, we don't have to, that way we don't have to be switching pads back and forth and cleaning them and all sorts of stuff. Make sure your gear is clean though, yourself. You guys understand? Always wipe your gear down. That's always good to have it that. Never ever finish sparring and just take our sparring gear and turn it in the bag and leave it in the bag all night, right? You've done sparring, you've done sweating to your gear when you get home, you know, of course, always wipe it down and wipe it back. Right? You don't want anything growing in there that grows on you later on. Right? Like you give it to somebody else. Oh, yeah. All sorts of little bugs that grow on that stuff, okay? So bring your gear with you tomorrow. It'd be good idea to have machine gear too. That way you can throw the kick a little bit harder. And you're just working, we're going to be working that combination and finishing up whatever combination we start today that we land the combination to. The one, two, three back steps. One, two, switch. One, two, switch, two. All right, which turns into a one, two, switch, seven, spin eight. All right, you guys see how that works? All right, so we're going to be working that one as well, building that, some of those two combinations, finishing up the week. Like I said, we're not allowed to spar full fledged right out of the stand up leaf right now, but what we can do is we can drill a lot with our partners. You guys understand? And that's what we're going to do on a ton of solo and hard drilling for the next few weeks. Right, okay, guys? Cool. Very good. Hey, guys, don't forget. Always about doing the right thing at the right time. Always think. All right? Being accurate in everything that we do. Make sure we get a good response when we're at home, doing what we're supposed to do at the right time at home. Don't get mom and dad pissed out when they ask you to do stuff ever. You guys understand that? They run the ass. They know what you need to be doing at the right time. All right? Schoolwork, you guys have been learning a new thing about responsibility now because a lot of this has been online and you have to like get your assignments in and you have to be proactive about it all by yourself. Right? Self discipline. Home school has been doing that for a long time, but you know, that's uh, some of the other guys have been working that now is a new thing. So that's really important. You're seeing that work. Martial arts, you see that all the time. If you don't have accuracy, you're not doing the right thing at the right time, guess what happens to you? You get popped in the head, you get taken down, you get submitted, all those types of things. You lose a position or something like that. So it's all about accuracy. Everybody say accuracy. Accuracy. You're doing the right thing. The right time. The right time. What is it? Doing the right thing at the right time. The right thing at the right time. Right time. All right. Hopefully you guys work this at home. Make sure you keep building that foundation. The combination is going to be coming out Friday. We're going to wrap everything up. You're going to see the review. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to have somebody home to work with if mom and dad have pillows. Something like that, or a brother or sister, you guys got some sparring gear you can trade off with. That'd be cool too, all right? But don't forget, we always live life on purpose and what? Never quit. Never quit. What was that? Never, Never quit. quit. Never quit, all right? So you guys have a good evening. We'll see you guys Saturday. Let's go ahead and line it up, please, quickly. Double tick. Knee to knee. Great. Two second knee. Great. Two second knee. Great. Great. Good job, guys. Thank you very much. Good training. Stay right there. Have a seat in your squares, please. guys to go get your stuff, bow off the mat, grab your stuff, you do not need to change your key, nothing like that, and you grab your gear, grab your water, and make your way out here with mom and dad, all right? Oh, and the rule is, when you come off the mat as you're walking off, you got to give a hot dog, all right? You got to give a good shot, yeah, is that okay? Yeah. So you got to give it to everybody, right? You got to look around and smile at them, you got to kind of 
Bobby had like this too. Okay, on the way out. Okay, cool. Were you a surfer? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cam, Tyler, let's go, guys.